around the new Fjord 41 XL. I'm already sitting on it. I'm really excited because this boat has just been launched a couple of weeks ago. So I haven't seen it before and I'm really excited to see what it's all about. And I hope you can join me today to have a look around outside and inside. It's 41 feet long and I think there's a lot to discover on those 41 feet. I'm starting our tour in the very back of our Fjord 41 XL. It's a completely new boat. They have decided to put in a lot of thought in the new design. So there's a lot of headroom. We will see that later when we're going inside. We have a brand new T-top. We will also talk about that a little later. And all in all, a lot of room. We also have a vertical bow, which makes the whole thing very safe or safer um, as compared to the, um, the boats before. But we will see all that a little later. The first thing that I want to show you is this massive bathing platform in the aft of our boat. So you can see there's a lot of room all around me, so the entire family would basically fit. And of course you can use it for whatever you want. If it's just lying in the sun or dangling your feet or use it as the launch pad for all your adventures um, in the waves, that's all possible. There's two options that you have. You can either have the platform as it is here, so that is um, hydraulically operated so it's all on the push of a button that the entire platform is going down or up and the stairs that you can see there they're integrated and they will just go down as the platform goes down so no matter at what height the platform is the stairs will be perfectly fitted for that the other option is that you have a fixed platform then it comes with a very stable um, ladder that you can just pull out to the side and then it's very easy access to the water as well. So you can see there's always a lot of options for you to decide and all in all with the entire layout we actually have 90 different layouts that you can choose from but also about that we will see a little later and I hope I can show you what it's all about. What I'm sitting on is um, on this flexible bathing platform, a lot of storage space so you can use that as well. There is a little bathing ladder inside as well, but we don't really need it because we have the really comfortable stairs leading down. To show you how really big this bathing platform really is, I brought my meter here. And as you can see here, that is one meter 80. So it's even a little longer than that. So that is really huge for this sort of boat. Remember, we only have 41 feet of total length. So 1.8 meters is really a lot. Right next to the bathing platform, we have this huge sun lounge. So it's really a lot of space. I can even lie that way and there would still be space left. And below there's a lot of storage space. If you want to have um, the sun lounge, it's completely up to you because you can also decide to have just an empty deck here. For example, if you need more space for your water toys or whatever you decide to um, put on your boat and to take with you on your boat. But this is an option and I will show you how the storage space works. We just put up the cushions here and then there's a little flap down there that I open and then I can put the entire thing up with the cushion. You can see it's an hydraulic mechanism so it stays up there. There's no real possibility for me to um, get my fingers in between or to hurt myself or to hurt my head. And inside you can see there's a lot of storage space. So you can actually fit a sea bob in here, one on the other side. So there's a lot of room. And down there it's also one of the access points to the engine. So it's really easy from the back here. You don't have to bump your head or anything. And what I also noticed when opening the flaps, it's just a little thing, but there are little holes in there. So you can actually put a padlock because if you have your really expensive sea toys in there, it's really nice to have it closed at all times. It's just a little detail, but I really want to show you. It's this little gate here. It shows to the outside world that you're driving a fjord, so that's pretty cool. And you can open it really easily. And it seems like just a little thing, but if this beauty really gets going, um, you will fall a little backwards. And um, that will definitely help, especially if you have younger people on board. Um, then this is definitely a safety feature. And as you can see behind it, the sidewall is really wide all the way to the bow. So that makes um, for additional safety as well. And we have a really high bulwark with, with these um, hand railings on the side as well. So the entire feeling while driving is one of a lot of safety and nobody feels that he can fall off at any moment. We have seen the large sun lounge 
But of course here as well you can always choose what you want and what your mood at the moment is. So like this, it's a bench here and also um, like a chaise long on the other side here. You can also just pull it down and then it's really nice for lying down. Instead you can put the entire backrest up here that extends the sun lounge even more with a high backrest or just put it down like this and then you can lie down as well. So there's a lot of different options and as you can see right next to it there's the cockpit table. I've brought my meter again. It's 70 centimeters wide and if you push out both of the tables so they're flexible here if you push them out all of that together gives you a table of two meters so there's a lot of space to cater to all your guests that you have on board but of course if you don't need the bigger tables just put the sides in and you have two smaller coffee tables with the little cup holders on the side so just for drinks or for a cocktail in the evening that's perfect for that when we move a little further to the front we have uh, more sofas here and as you can see here as well you can choose what you want you can either have the driving um, configuration here so while you're driving and while there's a lot of speed you can have your guests all sit here in the direction of travel so they can also enjoy the speed and the exhilaration but if not if you're sitting here for your cocktails or for your dinner you can have the backrest on that side so everybody's facing the table You have seen what's possible with all this sofa space here. Of course you can also decide, as I said before, 90 different layouts to choose from, that you don't want any sofa at all. So you can have an entirely free deck back here to get whatever you need to take on your cruises with you. You can also decide to have a sofa in a U form. You can also decide to have single seats put around here or just a little coffee table. Um, that is completely up to you and what's really nice you can also have floatable chairs so if you don't need them up here you can just throw them in the water and sit in the water for a while. I'm still standing in the cockpit as you can see above me we have the t-top it's actually the biggest t-top that you will ever find on a boat of this size so it's something very special and they had to do some special designs what we will see a little later on how to support the entire t-top because it's just so big and you can see there's skylights in them as well and I've brought my meter it's um, folded out the entire way so it's two meters up until here so every person can very comfortably stand under the t-top here there's still light coming in by the skylights but you can also decide to have a bimini included that's on the very back of the t-top and that can just be pulled out by the push of a button and that would give you a really large area of shade that's almost two meters additionally to the t-top so that would shade the entire area here and when we're in the bow of our boat we will see that we can even put shade there but we will come to that a little later what you can also see is that we have this ambience lighting going all around the t-top and we also have the spots in the ceiling and a radio to the side and the speaker right next to it so you can have a really nice party back here with the correct lighting with the correct music and the correct ambience for everything right in the cockpit we have the galley area so you can see here i can just open the cover it will stay open no way for me to hurt myself as i usually do with these things you can see there's a sink on the left here i just pull out the tap and have a pretty much full size sink right here. Next to it, there's a worktop. If you want, you can install an electrical um, stove top here instead of the worktop. We still have enough working place on the other side of the galley. There is another worktop, but you can also have a gas barbecue installed there. So whatever you decide to do, even here, you can choose which layout you want. On the bottom here, we can uh, we have a little storage space. I will show you down here, you will notice that there's not too much space. The reason for that is that at that height in the middle here, that is the standing height below in the guest cabin. We will see that a little later, so pay attention to that when I show you the standing height downstairs. That's only possible because it comes up in the galley here. 
but there's still a little storage space around. If you want, you can also have um, a fridge installed out here. So that is completely up to you. And if you need even more space, you can also have the uh, port side part of the galley extended to double the size. So that would mean a complete galley all over here and definitely a good way to cater to six or eight guests right here on board and no need to get anything ordered from the Chinese restaurant around the corner. I'm sitting at the helm station now. You can see the dashboard right next to me here. It's very minimalistic, but it fits perfectly to the entire design of the whole boat. So there's not too much clutter around. Everything you need is on the big screens. We have the double pilot seat. As you can see as well, this one is pulled out so I can sit comfortably, comfortably. but if I prefer driving while standing, I can also put it up and then there's, um, the seat is not in my way. Um, it's, it's a really easy height for driving, but if you're a bit taller or a bit not so tall, you can also decide to have an electrical high-low mechanism installed here. So if I press a button on the, um, on the bottom here, the entire seat goes up or down. So you can see it here. It comes up just slightly depending on your size and on the way you want the seats to be for the most comfortable driving. In the whole dashboard, you have a glove compartment so you can put little trinkets around here as well. You have the option to put your phone or a drink in the cup holder here. And um, this space here has been designed to put your tablet computer there if you need it as well. So it's very well thought out and fits perfectly with the entire design, which also continues to the front here. You see the very big windscreen, but it only comes up to half. That gives you kind of a convertible feeling while driving. You can also decide to have the windscreen pulled up all the way to the T-top here, and then it would be completely closed up. But especially in this weather, I really like the open style here. And what I had said before, in order to secure the T-top up there, they have included these, uh, well, they call it the hockey sticks, because from the side it looks like a hockey stick. And that fits very well as well with the whole design, and that keeps the windscreen in place here. So you're really safe from the wind, a little sheltered, but still completely open, and you have unimpeded views all around. And even myself, I'm not the tallest person, but when I'm sitting here, I see everything all the way to the bowl and far beyond there. I'm slowly making my way from the very back of our boat to the very bow. I'm almost there, but there's just so much to see on the way. And right now I'm standing on the sidewalk. You can see it's rather wide, so there's enough room to maneuver around on board. And there's a lot of interesting stuff happening in the bulwark or around the sidewalk. So you can see next to me here, that's the fender storage. At the moment we're in the marina, so we don't have any fenders because they're outside. But they would usually be stored here, very convenient, out of the way, but always very easily accessible. So that's really nice there. We have a handrail that's always good to have in case of waves or just enormous speed if the driver um, likes to have some fun and um, go a bit faster. In the back we also have a little storage for some extra ropes that you might have. Um, we have the retractable sheets on the side. I really like that. So whenever you don't need them, you just push them down and they're out of the way and um, nobody can get hurt there and you can hold on to everything on the way. We have talked about the entertainment system, the radio and the loudspeakers. We have some more here. So even next to the helm station, there's some sound coming out so you can really set the ambience really easily. And what I also really like are the stairs that are integrated in the bulwark, which is incidentally very high. So right now it's up to my hip, so there's no real way for me to go overboard even when it's enormous speed or some waves going on. And the stairs you can just pull out from the side and then you have a nice step when you're going over the bulwark and outside onto the pier. I've made my way all the way to the bow of our Fjord 41XL. As you can see, there's a large sun lounge here as well, so enough space for at least two people. And here there's a, a little cushioning area in the, um, back there so you can sit and lie down very comfortably. What we also have, that's an option that you can go for, you can decide to have an additional sunroof coming out from above the windscreen 
and that would come all the way to the front here. You can see next to me the little holes. That's where the stainless steel holes go in that keep the roof up. So that will be really nice um, up here and that will give you shade even in the bow of our boat. So you can basically give shade to the entire upper deck of our Fjord 41. Below the cushions on my side, I can just pull them up easily. Of course, when there's some waves, I can fix them down with the zipper. But right now in the marina, we don't need that. And I can just pull it up. And then I have the window below here. That's the skylight, one of the skylights from the master cabin below. We will see that a little later. And that gives a lot of natural light downstairs as well. And I can just open it up and let in a lot of fresh air. There's another skylight a little further down that opens in the other direction. So that opens like this. And when there's some wind coming or when you're underway and um, just the speed gives you the wind, the wind will just flow down naturally and give you a really nice natural ventilation downstairs in the interior area. So that's a really nice thing to have and a lot of natural light, of course, comes with it. When we're talking about the cushions, you can always decide the colors of pretty much everything on board. So we will see that a little later downstairs as well. But up here you can also choose the color of your cushions, the color of your hull, the color of your flooring, whatever you want, even the color of the tea top. If you prefer to be black, that's completely up to you and you can decide what your personal boat will look like. When we're sitting here, what I also notice is that the bulwark is still really high next to me. So even right in the bow, you saw that I'm, I was going up a little bit. Even here the bulwark is really high no way for me to fall over and if i even go a bit further to the front we have the anchor locker in the bottom so i can open that up for easy access to the anchor chain or the anchor usually i only need that for inspection or maintenance work because i don't usually go to the anchor it's just the push of a button and the anchor drops down or gets pulled back up and the anchor we don't even see it from up here because it's hidden away in the, uh, the side of the boat so it's out of the way, there's no way to trip over it. And it gives us a lot of room right up front in the bow and the perfect place to spot dolphins or just enjoy the sunset. I'm back in the cockpit. I'm pretty sure that I missed something that I was supposed to show you on board, but there's just so much to see. So I hope you already have a good overview what the Fjord 41 XL is all about. But now I really want to see what's downstairs inside. So that's where we're gonna go now. This is the main cabin, so we're downstairs now. You can see that there's still a lot of natural light coming in. That's mainly due to the skylights that are above me. I can open them, we have seen them before on the foredeck. So these are the latches um, that you open to get in some fresh air or the ventilation going. We also have windows to both sides. Next to me here, we have one window in the front there and we have windows down there. So even when I'm lying down, I can actually look outside and that's the first time that in a fjord you can actually see outside um, on the level of the waves while you're in, uh, in bed. And what we have seen also outside, we saw this little slope going up towards the bow. And this is the reason why we have this. So down here we have a lot of headroom. So even when I'm sitting, there's still a lot of room. And of course the standing height all the way um, to the companionway. So a lot of room down here, we have a lot of storage space all around, there's cupboards and um, little places to put your stuff or also below the bed. So a lot of areas to just store everything that you don't want lying around. What we also have, if there's no daylight because it's night for example, we have a really nice lighting system. So we have the spots in the ceiling here. Today it's a bit difficult to see because it's very sunny, but we also have the indirect lighting on um, the side of the ceiling here. So it makes really nice lighting down here and you can choose whatever lights you want switched on or switched off and create your own atmosphere that you feel most comfortable in at that moment. What we also have is a lot of storage on the side. So it's this island bed. And what you can see when you look around me is the color scheme that we have. So it's called a different mode. So what we have here, I will show you below me. We have the gold with the black letter. The stitches are actually in the same color as the golden part down here. 
and it's all in the same color as the cushions that I'm sitting on so the mattresses on the beds are the same color so everything kind of fits together. We also have the dark leather all to the side and it comes with this really beautiful wood um, of the furniture and also with a special floor. Of course if you don't like the gold and the black you can decide for another mode. We have one that looks a bit more elegant, one that has more cool colors which is really light so the whole um, cabin seems even brighter than it is now. But if you don't want to choose anything that's already designed for you, you can of course also design it yourself. So if you're a true Jamaican, you can go for a combination of green and yellow and black or whatever you choose. There's all different kinds of colors that you can combine. Just talk to your dealer and they will be able to tell you exactly what's possible. Well, I'm standing in the middle of the cabin downstairs now. I've brought my meter again. So you can see up here that's two meters high. So it's maybe 195 all throughout the cabin. So you can stand wherever you go all the way up to the bed. So in the master cabin, that's really convenient. Um, to the side here, we have different layouts that we can choose again. I told you before, there's tons of options that you can choose from. In here, for example, we have a fridge. So in case the fridge space outside uh, isn't enough for you, you can also have that installed. That's an option. If you don't need the fridge, you can also have a full galley in here. You can also, instead of the galley, have a dinette or a vanity table or a day toilet. So it's completely up to you. And even downstairs, it's pretty much your choice what you want. What's always there is um, the color mode that we have talked about. So whatever you choose to have around your bed, that will go throughout the entire interior part of your boat. So we will see in the guest cabin in a little while, we also have the same color scheme, whatever you decide it to be, and also in the bathroom that we will see in just a minute. What you can also choose is that you can have a sliding door installed here. So that would give the master cabin um, like an extra space if you have the galley here for example that you don't have to cook while you're sleeping or right next to your bed and that sliding door would also be like a blackout screen so then no light would come in whatsoever you can also decide to have the blinds as blackout blinds and then no light would come here if you prefer that This is the guest cabin I'm in, so you're very welcome to invite some guests on board. We have a large double bed here, so it's two meter long, just normal size for most people to feel comfortable. And as you can see, there's still enough room so I don't have to crouch. Um, but the real nice sitting is on the other side of the cabin. There's a little sofa as well, and there it's enough room. It's about one meter 40 this height, and on the other side, you can very comfortably sit and enjoy the view because although we're in the guest cabin we have a lot of windows as you can see there are five so two of these on each side and a little hatch for ventilation as well so there's a lot of natural light coming in and even as a guest you can enjoy the view from down here there is a little area where you can also stand so up here it's almost one meter 80 high because of course for example dressing is easier while standing up and we have seen that before in the galley upstairs in the cockpit that was where we opened um, the little storage space and saw that the um, how the standing height downstairs is so this is the space that goes up in the galley what you can also decide for that's another option for down here to have um, a wall installed here and a door as well so if you want to keep the privacy of your guests that's also an option what's another option is to not get the guest cabin at all but instead have a huge storage space so if it's just you or just you two and you don't um, invite any guests on board you can use this as extra storage for whatever you need on board and then there would be a hatch just above me here and direct access from the cockpit down there so that's also an option the bathroom is directly accessible from the main cabin 
of course only if you don't have the wall the separating wall that I talked about otherwise it's still directly accessible from the companionway so down from the cockpit it's right there on the right side it has everything that a bathroom needs of course again a lot of standing height we have a sink we have an electrical toilet and we have a rain shower behind me so that is a little separate and it won't flood anything if one person is having a shower and the next is going to the toilet you don't have to stand in the shower water and there's also a big window on the side here that goes out and there's a lot of light coming in and of course some blinds here as well so you can also have your privacy down here that was a tour of our new Fjord 41 XL I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I don't know about you but I really fancy a spin right now so that's what I'm gonna do see you next time